today I'm making a video on my backup pro. Where did I put it? My backup pro. Uh, I'm making a video on it because well, I'm making I'm making a video on it to show you how to back up your SMSs. And let me just go to it to show you. You do have to have a rooted device in order to back up. Just let you know, your device must be rooted. Okay. As you can see, you have backup, restore, manage, view, schedule, and my two boot. Two box, sorry. Backup is the backup. You hit backup. You can backup applications and media. So you hit backup. You can back it up to a, a local or online. And online means you back it up onto one of their servers. Because my backup pro, you do have to pay for it. And my backup pro causes. Well, I, you don't. Tell you the truth, I didn't pay for it. I got my backup pro is full five dollars, and that's the pro version. Or you get the free version, which is a limited thirty day free trial. You should stay at the online server, but you only get it for thirty days. As you can see, this is my backup pro. Or if you want to be like me, you just go here and you go on, look at one of my other videos. I'll show you how to use free applications. Call full share. You go here and as you can see here, you go right here. Here you go, application. Uh, I'm not, I don't have the exact update. I got a, uh, a version, maybe. A couple of days. Oh, here you go. That's the application. I just hit OK and you get it for free. Use full share and you find an application in there. Hopefully, by the time you watch the video, they will have the free version. They will have the, the newer version already in App Store. And, uh, but it's working out fine for me. I have no problem. But let's go back to my Bagel Pro. You have the, the local, which saves to your SD card, or you can fail online. Online means backing up applications online. Custom with a lot of data use, so if you don't have a data, a lot of data. You got like AT and T, got a certain amount of data on your plan. This might not work too good after being on the line. In other words, backup application, backup local. Getting all a list of it. So I got my apps. Go to your apps or your photos. Cancel. Let's go to data. Data local. You do your contacts. You call log, your bookmarks, SMSs, MSS, MMS, system settings, Android Home, alarms, calendar, and music playlist. With this, it lets you say up how your Android Home look, your system settings. So let's say, since your phone is rooted, it has to be rooted to use this. You lose your root, you restore it, but you restored it a couple of days before you did like a big update on that, and you made a lot of changes to your phone, and you updated two days before. And you're like, oh man, and you lost all your messages you sent with your girlfriend or friend, something, something was important. You SMS, you hit backup, it backs up the SMS or meshes or, M or MMS or system settings, Android Home alarms, the cap contacts, call log, or book one. It saves all that. You see somebody had new contact putting your phone that same exact day, then had time to back up. Like, oh man, you're a business person. Like, oh man, what is it? What is it? What is it? You hit back, you hit. You go to restore data from SD card. You pick it where you want to do it from. As you see, I have two of them. Data is the very first one, and schedule is the one I got on schedule. It update again tonight, and it will update again tomorrow at 11 p.m. And keep backing up all my stuff during schedule. So you want to manage. You can manage all of them. Let's say manage data, SD card, and you see I can manage mine. Or I could hit schedule. Schedule means all everything that updated for my last one. Um, as you can see, I'm gonna remove the schedule and do it again. Go local, so I'm gonna do my photos, applications, contacts. 
call log, SMS, and MS, system settings, Android Home, alarms, and that's all I need. Hit OK. I do it daily, or you can do it weekly, do it every week, which I wouldn't advise it unless you really know that your phone would not undo something, do something bad or whatever, especially being rooted. Rooted phones, just like jailbreak and I, I Apple products, always will go wrong. Something always will go wrong when you have to restore it. Can't necessarily trust it. So I do it daily. I do it at every. I do it at 11 p.m. every day, because that's about the time I get off my phone and stop really doing major updates. I thought that time. I wish you'd let me do it more, but it would. I wish. You just set for 11 p.m. Keep how many data, five backup files or alternate. Put zero. That's if you doing online, not local. Get schedule, backup schedule set. My toolbox. My toolbox is a thing which you use for you can freeze, unfreeze, wipe, wipe data, uninstall, foreclose, force close, break, market link, link to market. Which is master asset could have came in handy for me. Like it could have came in handy for this. Like break market links mean it'll break away from the market and keep the link from trying to connect to the market. Keep updates and stuff to connect it to the market. Let's see you have an application like this one. SPB shell 3D, it will break the link and goodbye. It shouldn't ask you for that thing no more. Or you can do system application to break the link. You can freeze them, force close, uninstall, wipe data, unfreeze, and freeze. Freeze means you froze the application in place to keep it from doing stuff. Keep that application from moving or doing whatever. Stay and closing it out. This is a review of my backup pro. Um, view is you just view backups, backup. So down, go to the market and download my backup pro or my backup pro free trial for 30 days and test it out. So go there, test it out, and tell me what you think. Have any problems with it? Anything not working right? You need to know how to do this with it. How you do this, or can you do this with it, or whatever. Comment on it, and I promise I will answer every question. My video channel, you go to my video channel, like my videos, and all of them ask questions. I answer every one of my questions. I don't care how many questions ask, or whatever, I answer every one of them. I don't leave questions unanswered. That's a promise I make to you. Inbox me a question about the application or whatever, and subscribe to my channel, like the video, give it a five, not five, give it a thumbs up, not a thumbs down, a thumbs up. I think there's a thumbs, um, but whatever it is, and visit my site, lockamike.com, for all your new tech updates. Peace.